Um, my name is Nick James from Architecture Architecture. I'm presenting our, pro pro our project, Vivarium. Vivarium cultivates the perfect environment for a family of two adults, two teenage boys, a dog, a cat, and some chickens, with a love of nature and their backyard. With an emphasis on biophilic design, the large yard allows room for social recreation and house pets to roam freely. Furthermore, a careful selection of native plants has been chosen to encourage birds, bees, and insects to inhabit the outdoor areas. The clients brought a real pas passion to sustaining both flora and fauna in the project, and this was sensitively implemented throughout the process. As an extension to an existing Thornbury cottage, this project is all about new living areas feeling like landscape as much as they are a house. At every opportunity, greenery is pulled towards, drawn in, and entangled into the house. A carefully considered material palette caters to the client's sensitivities to VOCs and artificial finishes, ensuring the occupant's health and comfort through adult seasons. These sensitivities demanded a thorough interrogation of specified building products and a desire to recycle and reuse existing materials wherever possible. Playful in form, the natural environment is drawn into the heart of the house, offering an ideal space for entertaining friends and family. I'll now, I'll now take you through some of the key design elements, starting with the floor plans. The existing house had all the typical problems of an old building, such as lack of natural light, cross ventilation, insulation, etc. In addition to this, the clients identified some key concerns that drove some important design decisions. Um, the bathroom was located um, in the centre there at the end of the entry corridor, first thing you saw as you came in. The lounge room felt like a thoroughfare as you had to walk through this space to move from the front to the back of the house. And most importantly, there was a real lack of connection to the outdoors from inside the house. The brief called for a three bedroom home with new kitchen, dining and living area. With the lean to removed, some minor modifications were made to the existing house to reconnect the entry to the generous backyard, creating a green corridor from which all the living and retreat spaces extend. Eschewing the typical box on the back approach the extension has been carefully shaped, creating two hard-working curved courtyards. One, a north-facing uh, north facing, um, north facing, well, that is on access to the entry corridor, drawing the landscape deeper into the main living areas, and two, a more intimate courtyard centred in the house, providing uh, fresh air to a number of internal spaces and light, light and fresh air. Out front, the, the facade, the, out front, the facade was given a cosmetic facelift. The existing fences were removed and the nature strip now replaced with guerrilla gardening. Occupant privacy is well maintained via planting and the front yard is now thoughtfully shared with the neighbourhood. With the front door open, a glimpse to the backyard can be seen, drawing you towards the main living area upon entry. At the centre of the house, we find ourselves between these two majestic curved glass windows. The curved glass invites a moment of pause, heightening the occupant's visual experience to the otherworldly way they reflect light and distort, distort landscape. From here, the main living area is pinwheel out and curated views to the outside can be enjoyed. Here you can see the main view out to the backyard, right on access to the entry corridor. Looking left is the dining room with a built-in bench seat and window beyond. And looking back, we could see the central courtyard with built-in bench seat and a view through to the main bedroom beyond. Uh, sorry. Looking from the living room, we can see the kitchen and an operable window to the central courtyard, allowing cross-ventilation through this space. The central sense of arrival to the lounge room is enhanced by a single step down and a change in floor finish from concrete to carpet. Furthermore, the lounge room is bookended by a fireplace and bench seat that overlooks the backyard. An important part of the brief was to integrate house and landscape wherever possible. Gently curved building edges and a central courtyard create a dynamic spatial experience, introducing abundant natural light to the building's interior while maintaining thermal balance across the seasons with fixed and operable screens. In the near future, climbing vines will grow on the overhead cables, creating a filtered canopy in summer. The rear facade appears as a continuous skin of glass and timber battens. Galvanised sheeting is fixed behind the space timber battens, generating mercurial diluted reflections of land and sky. All planting is appropriate to the local climate with an abundance of native grasses. 
Northern and western boundary fences are concealed by this dense shrubbery, creating the appearance of an unbroken landscape. The central courtyard has been planted in the spirit of the temperate rainforest of the Great Otway National Park, where the family takes an annual pilgrimage every summer. The morning sun makes its way through here in the main into the main bedroom and deep into the kitchen. The courtyard provides an outlook from the parents' bedroom rather than looking onto the shared laneway to the east, and an integrated bench seat provides a spot for a morning coffee, quiet read, or conversation with the kitchen occupants. Here on the left, oops, in the left we can see the, here we can see a view within the courtyard looking towards the kitchen, and on the right a view between the backyard and the dining space. Within the dining space, a hole was left in the concrete floor to allow the planting of an internal tree. And on the right, the nighttime lighting creates a calming underwater like effect. Right. Two minutes, yeah. Another important component of the client's brief was the integration of sustainable principles, technologies, and low toxic materials. The renovation was done on a budget just over 600,000, and the extension consumes a small area of only 65 square metres. The existing building fabric and most of the internal structure has been maintained and retrofitted to include double glazing and insulation. Some further site strategies include the use of native plants and trees and grasses, room for a chook shed and productive garden at the rear. Bricks from the site have been recycled into paving. An existing shed at the back corner there um, was repurposed into a study, including the use of salvaged items from the old house, such as insulation lights and a ceiling fan. There's also the installation of a hydronic heat pump, solar panels, and provision for future battery, solar panel ex expansion, and water tank when funds allow. By demolishing the ex existing rear extension, the original house is connected to light and nature, reducing reliance on artificial lighting. The new living spaces have low carbon e-crate floors oriented north for optimal thermal comfort. These spaces are complemented by eaves, trees, and overhead vines, reducing glare and providing shade. Strategically located windows ensure quality cross ventilation during summer months. The client experiences sensitivity to certain chemicals, thus Natural paint finishes and sealants with low VOC content have been used throughout. throughout. Internal walls are constructed using magnesium oxychloride board instead of plasterboard for increased um, air quality due to its greater resistance to mould and mildew. No MDF, particle board or toxic blues were used in this project. All joinery, including carcasses, were constructed with plywood. All demolished materials were recycled as far as practical. Timber studs pulled out during demolition were sanded down and reused as cladding to the northern facade. External bench seats were constructed from the existing spotter gum decking. The gas connection was removed as the house is enti run entirely on electricity. Additionally, the house was upgraded to three-phase power to operate the hydronic heat pump and in anticipation of electric car. Okay, I'll just skip the last bit. With an emphasis on reduced environmental impact and maintaining its character, characteristic street front, the revitalised North Thornbury Cottage reconnects to its surroundings, a home amongst flourishing greenery, forever changing at the seasons. Thank you. <laughs>